What's crack lacking -like folks? Welcome back to Elden Ring, where we lit all of these obelisks and we're ready to enter there. But before that, I looked at our stock of all these runes, and I think we're gonna use them all to upgrade us a little bit. The question is how much do we put into vigor, really? <laughs> I think that is the most important question right now. So we need about 20,000, which we should, I think, get to. If not, well, we risk uh, a bunch of runes to, there we go, to get the remaining ones, but that should get us two levels. Now the question is, do we go for more, that's quite a bit of uh, health, or do we go for arcane? Arcane improves our raw damage, which is nice. And then we can go like one into vigor. Which I guess is a, I think 26 is fine for where we're going up to um, Rodan. No, sorry, um, Morgoth. We also can boost strength, but we don't need a lot of strength. We, that would also improve our attack power. But I think we go with Arcane first. Bleed is just really strong, then again. <laughs> if we don't bleed, we want raw damage. So let's go this way, skimping out on the Vigor for now. And we'll see how much we regret that going forward. Now, off to explore what is up these stairs. That's a dead one. So, probably boss time. So, I'm not sure if we use the Reduvia. Now, let's just start with two handing the Twin Blade on the Hollow. Was it Born Grounds? Well, then, Ominous Elk. Touch the Horned Remains. We have a stake of America here. And a boss fog. Let's go. Reverse the mist. The ancestor spirit. The beautiful quiet music. Okay, you leave that permanently. Nope, <laughs> too late. Stop spewing your things. I think we're gonna get a heal over time. Ow. <laughs> that was our bubble. Rolling too early. I wouldn't heal that. Do this. He walks through it, which is the... Which is the part that makes it hard to punish. Did I really get hit like twice there? There's three of them. Go away from me. I mean, no, now you can come back. <laughs> Doesn't have... Oh, ha, ha. The lure. Damage... Um, healing over time isn't much, but it's enough to top us up here and there. Oh, I roll 
we're just too late. Oh, the head whiffed. That is rude. All about patience, it seems. The healing over time does, you know, top us up here and there. Keeps us out of the... Ah, oh, too early. Out of this super danger range without having to... Um, heal every time. Wow, that was lucky that we were... I think we were just out of range. Could you stop that? My timing. Wow, was that bleed that triggered? 700 must have been a uh, triggering bleed. Yeah, 216 must have been the bleed that triggered. Very nice. I mean, that's why we have a bleed build <laughs> to use it. Now, Ancestor Spirit. Don't, oh, that hit me. What is the hitbox on that? We have a bonus to the last swing or the last hit of our twin blade combo. So we want to use that when we can. One, two. new move, I think. We no longer have the healing over time. Nope. Do not hit me. You're not allowed. I think he can do it three times. He just chooses to not if you get under him. I'm making progress. I'd rather roll twice than catch that hitbox again. Because it hurts. <laughs> yeah, do your... I'm pretty sure that's frostbite. It's not very... Wow, that was like, must have been... Literally the last frame of our iframe where he landed because it was way too early. Stop running away. That's not frostbite, it just knocks me back and I'm getting greedy. There we go. Poor Ancestor Spirit, and we get the Ancestral Follower Ashes. Those are probably the ones that we fought outside. And that completes Siofra River, I think. Or will we fight that one? I think it just teleports us back. And there's no a live version here trying to murder us. So that is the Siofra River. Such a beautiful place. Look at that. Pretty. Are those roots of trees above? And then kind of light piercing through? Huh. Well then. Pillars. That was everything here, but I remember I wanted to get up. Wow, that was f that was 13,000 runes. So I guess we were not supposed to be here that early, but I'll take it. That's another level. And honestly, I'd say vigor wise, we were fine. And given how many souls it gave us, I think this is necessary necessarily a place that we should be doing right away but who knows and obviously level one everything i cannot other people can 
Is there more shinies over there? Or is this just a star? I think just a star. So there was one of these. Um, that I can potentially go up on. But there was one of the strong archers that really didn't want me to do that. So I will see if I remember correctly. Is it this one? And one of the strong archers standing on top of it or next of it? Come on, pillage them. That will cure me and... That's not one of the crazy ones. Sombra Smithing Stone 2, very nice. And then here's a portal to where? I have no idea. Is this the top level of the Sea of Rivers? Oh, it is, right. I remembered there was like a level above, but I wondered if that was maybe a different and difference, different entrance. The wording is hard. <laughs> and I think here may find another twin blade that we may choose to not use. We'll have to see. Especially with bleed, I think our twin blade is exceptionally good. But we'll we'll give it a look. Um, crab? Big crab? Golden Rune 7. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's an area not intended for us. But so far, we're making it through pretty well. Granted, the last boss wasn't very difficult. And the ones ahead may be uh, showing us how good we are. <laughs> as in murdering us, but that's okay. As long as we get our wounds back, that'd be nice. <laughs> that's half a level ghost glove word. Those are for upgrading ashes, I believe. And we haven't even used ashes at all in this run. And maybe I do want to, some of them, uh, most of them need a lot of FP. So I'm not going to invest much in them, but we'll just pick one that is low FP requirement. And then there's a flask. Store one, we come back to you. And yeah, maybe pick one that we can use. Oh, there's a big shiny. Oh no, not them. Kill it. Okay, even that one is... No. <laughs> even that one was hard to kill. And I think we got the greater bubble of these uh, ones. Like, they have the small bubbles they send, which we found at the bottom of the Siofer River. And then now we got the larger bubble. But we will not utilize that one. We probably don't even have the int to cast it. Which is fine. It's not a sorcery run. I personally prefer melee. I feel it's it's more fun to me. Be like close up. Another somber smithing stone. Very nice. I prefer being close up and dealing with enemies that way than um, kiting them. I prefer dodging over kiting, so to say. Now, let's see how tough they are. Very. Oh, they're pull! Yeah, they're very tough. <laughs> and look how many they are. Do I have pots? I have to see if I have pots to equip. I'm gonna say that's a no. 
But, you know, we haven't summoned our friends. Why can I not summon it? I am still confused. What? I can't summon them. They do not stagger well, I remember. Oh, that hitbox of that one is so large. And yeah, fighting more than one is just impossible. Okay, bleed triggered. They do bleed. Yeah, how many souls do they give? Um, 329. It might actually be worth spending some time on them. Maybe even with the Reduvia. Oh, backstab, very nice. Almost no damage, not so nice. Look at the damage they do. Like, almost as much as a... Uh, as... I heal with one charge. No, not the craps, too. What is this? Give me the Clayman's Harpoon. I was surprised that... God, lock onto the right one, would you? I want that backstab. Fishing for it and successful now. Speed. Oh, there we go. Uh, excuse me. Crap. What was that? Get out of here. You too. Don't disturb. And where are you guys going? Come here. A little bit faster. Come on. You have to know how to attack me. Oh no, that hurts so <laughs> much. Uh, I just did a backstab with one hand. Let's see, no, it's the exact same uh, amount of damage. So we can have the Reduvia still out. Now, let's see if we can get more come here to us. Without aggroing the mage. I'd rather not have the mage be in our face as well. Or rather, his bubbles. Come here. There we go. Do your big grab. I do my big... Backstab. So you can just kite around them. The problem is that kiting requires space. Oh my god, what was that? There's still two. I don't like that. I thought there was only one on the right side. I'm not going to fight three of them or one mage, one bubble guy. Oh, it just stays there. Oh, that wasn't a backstab. That's so dangerous. When they're out of sync, that's the most dangerous. Because then one can attack while the other one is winding up. Um, the first one. No, while the one is attacking, the other one is winding up. Like this. That was greedy. 
<laughs> I could have like very well run into that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take that one. Because that makes him immune. Actually, this one does much more damage than a backstab. I thought they always had kind of the same. How did he shoot me like that here? Okay, Bubble Man. We out bubbled here. No, not even the small bubbles. Oh, come on, give me that back step. There we go. I deserve that, given how much I fished for it, and ow, you still hurt. Oh my god. Let Reduvia help you a bit. There we go. Oh, of course, what do we get? A silver firefly. Well, now that these are cleared up, we're still probably quite a bit away from uh, leveling up. How many do we need? 10, 4. And then not lose our 8, 6. That would be nice. <laughs> well, there's a stake here, probably for a reason. The other reason this is probably coming to us soon. That's why I kind of want to level up. Or we find the other reason. We can always try to go through them again. But that is somewhat of a chore. There is a goodie. A slumbering egg. What is that? I would assume a crafting ingredient. No. Bound by hunting owls. Oh, it is a crafting material. Owl eggs that will never hatch. Here, hold up. Christ as a symbol of the most sublime slumber. So I guess that is used for crafting sleep pods. Come on, Yuri made it up there. Well, nothing here. We may have to go into what I'm scared of. <laughs> How many do we... Yeah, you see that? Yeah, that's what I'm scared of. <laughs> Let's see what awaits us over here. We can... We almost need 10,000, so we would need... What is that? Uh, there's more. Oh, not 10,000. Um, 2,000, which means... Oh, we only then need 10. Nope. We only need 10 of the small ones, runes. Yeah, do your thing. Um, let me backstab you while you're still alone. Two backstabs don't kill him. Uh, yikes. He's still not dead. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. It's gonna kill him in like two more, but I'm not gonna waste him on that. It's kite time again. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, that was so close. I always forget about the return trip. Yes. Pain. They, they stay together so well. If I to get these hit and run attacks and I should focus on one. But I really want to get these back steps in, but they turn so well. That was also very close. <laughs> but I also do really want to get the runes. No grab. At least he moved a bit away from them. I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> Barely got that one off before that other one hit me. 
That would have sucked if I got the stagger and then couldn't utilize it. Now backstabbing might even be possible. Not that way. So let's uh, forget that backstab idea. Yeah, you do your grab. Do not stab me. There we go. Okay, one uh, much easier to deal with. Famous last words. But we try. Nonetheless. Their horde AI, so to say, is really good. Like, it's so difficult to get behind any of them. ones. <laughs> like, even two of them, as you saw. They are no joke. Just wait, it's a giant crab waiting for us here. Oh, this is a mage, isn't it? Ah. They have spears. There's still so many left. I could just run in, but... I may do that once I have... All the souls I need for leveling up. Oh, come on! I was right in front of him. At least our Estus heals quite a chunk. That tells me we might actually want to upgrade Vigor. And did that just crash the game? Ah. Uh? Yep. That was the game saying no. Well, I guess we uh, see where we ended up. <laughs> Start Elden Ring again. And see how many souls we have. Or um, how many runes we have. There we go. As I mentioned, we play offline because otherwise we cannot do ultra wide. Because it's apparently uh, cheating if you would do that uh, in PvP online. So shall not do PvP online. Now, 9,900. It's kind of like before we engaged any of these. Which is fine. There's another one. I really need to look into getting pots that work against them. Okay, one is dead. I'm not gonna do that. That would have been a bad idea. Get out of here. Still hit me. Very rude. I saw that coming. Well, I didn't, otherwise I would have avoided it now, wouldn't I? Okay, 10,600. It's enough to level up. Let's now just try get whatever shinies are here. Golden Rune 7. That's like ginormous. Are we going to fall to our death back here? No, but it doesn't seem there's anything back here either. Check the other side. I'm going to kite them behind that stone. Always looking down. Maybe there's something back here. Because why else would there be such swarms of enemies? Looks like there's something here. Hi, bird. 
Oh, just a shiny. Dragon Wound Grease. Is that... Um, dragon... How's it called? Dragon status? Dragon Wound Grease. Coats armament granting anti-dragon effect. Good. Any dragons coming up anytime soon? Not immediately. And given how I fight dragons at least, and what I've what I know of how you can even fight dragons here, that grease is pretty worthless. Because you have to get out of the way so often and they're leaving you alone so often. You can put in the grease, but you only get like so many hits in anyway. So unless you have a very quick weapon, so that's actually worth it, it doesn't make so much sense. Put it on. Maybe there are other enemies that count as dragons that are not as consistent on flying away and doing flying things. And before we go in there, we will level up um, to hand our weapon. So where is the Grace? I already lost it. Hello, Grace? Shouldn't it be like right here somewhere? No, it's down here. Is it though? Oh, did we knock at a Grace up here? We just took the teleporter, yeah. Okay, we can do what? Is there a grace over there? I haven't checked that. There probably is one after we um say hello to a friend. But we can't just um can just use the teleporter again. And maybe this one is even faster. But getting up there wasn't as Dangerous as I remembered. We didn't get shot by the shine arrows, and I think now is vigor time. Given our flask can <laughs> heal almost our entire health pool. Now, from this side, how do we get there the fastest way? I think it's, yeah, up here. Oh, there's more shiny. Get off. Thank you. Travel. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> well, with that level up done and the next steps clear. Checking out what this ominous creature here is and what it wants from us. We'll be ending this episode. And in the next one, go over there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.